right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Art of Awesomeness podcast. I'm your host, Adrian Kaswani. This is episode 88, the final episode of the fourth season of this podcast, and also the final episode of this podcast in its entirety. Um, I do say that with a bit of a heavy heart. Uh, this podcast definitely has been um, very important to me uh, personally, and it's a uh, You know, being consistent, making episodes uh, every week for over a year now, uh, pretty far well over a year now, Um, you know, you definitely grow an attachment to your projects, to the things that you work on, and so this definitely has not been any different. Um, I definitely, um, it's, it's kind of bittersweet to end the podcast, but I will kind of in this episode give you a brief synopsis as to why the podcast is ending and also the plans for the future. And the reason why I say it's bittersweet um, is because that this podcast, the Art of Awesome, this podcast will end, but the creative pursuits of myself and possibly Christian Cato um, in the future on YouTube um, will persist. So, um, I'm going to talk about that a little bit more, but of course we do have the National Days, Happy National Juneteenth, National Free BSD Day, National Garfield the Cat Day, National Watch Day, Father's Day, Happy National Father's Day to all the fathers out there, mine included, and Turkey Lover's Day, which is kind of a weird last national day to end on, Turkey Lover's Day. But um, yeah, this is the final episode of the podcast, which shouldn't come as a surprise. I've definitely led into it in the previous episode so you know obviously so it wouldn't be a shock to anyone uh anyone who's been keeping up would know that this was coming so hopefully this is is, this isn't a shock to anyone uh listening but uh yeah this is this is the wrap-up here it ends so to speak but it also is kind of paving the way for a new beginning because while the art of awesomeness, right? This podcast that Christian and I uh, initially started in the October of 2020, I think it was. Um, you know, this podcast will end, but it is my full intention to essentially just create uh, a new podcast and and um, kind of revamp um, our podcast, and so. While I don't know what that entails, you know, obviously, to its fullest fullest extent, I do know that in the coming months, it will be a goal of mine to brainstorm, essentially, which I already am kind of in the process in, of making a a new podcast, formulating a new channel, formulating a a few more um, kind of creative content pursuits here on YouTube, primarily, and... um, you know, this this ending of the podcast works because obviously it's a natural kind of end, right? It's the end of the season, end of season four. And also, um, if I back it up a little bit, when we first started the podcast, um, this one right here, Christian and I, I was talking to Christian about starting a podcast all summer, in the summer of 2020, right after we... Um, graduated high school, and we were about to start college. And so what we ended up doing was kind of coming to the conclusion, okay, we're going to start college, right? We've been brainstorming this podcast all summer. We've been buying the microphones, getting the editing software. We agreed that we were going to stick out college, right? New chapter, starting something new here. Never been to college before. We're going to start college and just get used to our new routines or new workloads for a few weeks right and once we kind of got into the flow of things right once we kind of got a a schedule going a routine going with our schoolwork and and everything else when everything was said and done with that then we would start the podcast and we ended up starting the podcast in early october of 2020 is when we started this podcast and so similarly when it comes to the end or the beginning of uh, especially a project on youtube i don't know how many of 
you listeners out there have ever tried to make a YouTube channel or tried to stay consistent in filming, you know, editing, uploading videos uh, on a consistent basis, um, it does take a bit out of you on a week to week basis. And it also kind of creatively drains you to a certain extent. Like if, if you you can't really come up with a certain number of ideas until a certain point. You're just kind of grasping at straws, trying to see, you know, what works and what doesn't. But, uh, in my experience, it's been best to spend break periods and, uh, periods of rest to kind of recuperate ideas and inspiration for not just the podcast, but just kind of creative ideas in general. And so, Definitely getting into the flow of college for the first few weeks before we started the podcast definitely made it a lot easier um, than just starting the podcast right when we were starting college. And Christian was, uh, I think Christian and I at that point both were starting online college, so it wasn't too terribly difficult, but we still wanted to make sure that our priorities uh, were straight, meaning that our priorities were school first and then, you know, hobbies second. Um, but we made it work and we started the podcast in October of 2020 and we continued to make um, weekly uh, episodes uh, up until today. So um, that's kind of the philosophy that we went with and that's kind of what worked um, for us in that time. And I think that's a pretty good rule of thumb to just kind of, you know, make sure that you are... Um, giving yourself a little grace during certain transitional periods. And at this point in, uh, in my life and in Christian's life, it's definitely a bit of a transitional period. Um, so this episode, episode 88, which is the season finale and the series, I guess you could say finale of the podcast, uh, is obviously being filmed and edited and uploaded um, around June 19th. Uh, the day of its release, right? So summertime, not in school right now, not in work right now. And I start at a new school in September of this year because I'm, I'm a transfer student. I transferred schools, going to start my new school at, um, sorry, during uh, September of this year, uh, 2022. So with that, my intention is going to be to essentially get everything kind of lined up podcast-wise, so make sure I have the necessary equipment, make sure that I have, you know, a list of content kind of lined up, and then get into the new flow of my life at college, and then from there, um, begin the new podcast, and Reason being is because I'm going to be moving locations, so I'm going to have to take down my current setup, my current uh, setup that I'm working with right now, that I'm recording with and editing with. I'm going to have to take that down, move it to a new location, and then kind of restart there. So there's a lot of kind of tearing down the rebuilding up that's going to have to take place both physically and mentally. And so um, for me as the creator, this is a transitional period that I kind of want to take full advantage of in the sense that just recently it was the end of a chapter for me for school and for work. And now I'm starting a new chapter at a new school and um, definitely a big transitional period. Uh, with Christian taking leave from the podcast, that also shifted the uh, weight of the podcast. And so... With all the information that I have right now and with the foresight that I have pertaining to the future events that are going to occur in my life, I'm basing my kind of movements content-wise around that so that neither one of them really interfere with the other too much because I think it is important that we do keep our priorities straight. And while it is very nice to kind of fantasize and think of you know, the days where this podcast might really blow up and we might have a lot of, of viewers and listeners and we might have a really cool audience and, and things of that nature uh, that extends to a wide array of people. Uh, 
it is important to make sure that you kind of reality check yourself and and remember what a real life priority is and kind of what a hobby is and at least for me at this point in my life this still remains a hobby it's i'm not making any income or revenue off of these episodes i don't make any money doing this um or anything like that which you know obviously i still do it every week because i i, I do genuinely enjoy it so it isn't about the money for me per se with this podcast but it is important that i do focus on um the more important factors of my life which would be education jobs things of that nature and obviously relocating to a new place um is a kind of a stressful and very important thing to keep in mind in and of itself so i'm definitely trying to make sure that the priorities stay in order but i do genuinely uh have a lot of heartfelt sentiment towards this podcast in specific and then just making content online uh, in general it's always been my dream to to be a youtuber of sorts and so kind of dipping my toes into the youtube world in in some form or fashion um for over the past year and and so forth has definitely taught me a lot and so with the knowledge with everything that we've kind of gained from this podcast i hope to bring that and then more so to the next so for anyone who who may feel kind of bittersweet like myself like oh you know this is this is the last episode you know this is the last you know intro and outro kind of a thing which that kind of stuff always gets to me for whatever reason uh you know just remember that yeah this this podcast is ending but us making podcasts isn't really going to stop and then really the content on youtube from us should only really increase uh, in the coming months and in the coming years because i don't plan on getting off of this platform i don't plan on this certainly isn't any kind of form of quitting um for me it's just sometimes you kind of have to burn the forest down so that you can have new growth um so th that's kind of the way I'm looking at this whole kind of experience. I, I don't really see it as the end, even though that's the title of this episode. Um, because there will be a new beginning later down the line with a podcast that, you know, hopefully will be better quality, will uh, reach more people. Uh, any guests that we weren't able to get to on this podcast, we're going to have on that podcast. And the guests that we had on this podcast, we're also going to try and bring back for, for further episodes. So if you were a guest on this podcast, you can be sure that, you know, you'll be a guest on the next one. And uh, all the people who we said that, you know, hey, you should be on this podcast. We'd love to have you on this podcast. Whatever the next podcast is, you'll be for sure placed on that list i have a list actually in front of me at all the people who have reached out to me saying hey it'd be cool to be on the podcast sometime and uh, people who i would just like to see on the podcast um we have a list of that so that w list won't cease with the ending of this podcast i'm, I'm always going to have that list with me and so whatever kind of podcast that we create later down the line this year probably those people will be the first on the roster, essentially, to be guests on that podcast. Um, also, because I'm moving away to college, um, I do think that it would be cool to try and uh, interview people at my college as part of the episode. So obviously, we've had many guests on the podcast before. I think it would be cool to try and get guests on the podcast, uh, maybe get a few, I don't know, professors on or students who go to my school. I think that would be an interesting um, thing to toy around with. So I've, I've been thinking of a few things lately, and that was kind of one of the ideas that came to mind. Um, because I, for me, I think this podcast suffered quite a bit whenever we went full-time on Zoom, because I think that there, there really isn't anything that you can substitute for in-person face-to-face interactions as far as conversations i just don't think that you can beat it so if you know whenever we do create the new podcast it would be very important to me in specific to make sure that as many episodes as possible are in person and i would preferably like to have no kind of virtual Zoom meetings, you know, I would like to have the means to be able to have people uh, 
in a physical space to actually talk to them in person. I just think that the best content and the best conversations come about in that way. So that would probably be the number. If I've learned anything from this podcast, it's definitely been that in-person conversations and you know interviews and, and stuff of that nature, podcasts in general. They're just better than virtual. So I would definitely go down that route for sure. And pre-recording. I think that pre-recording would be another big one that that kind of gets overlooked sometimes, I think, in this podcast. But I think that pre-recording a lot of episodes just to have, just in case life gets a little bumpy down the road, is definitely a, a smart thing to do podcast-wise. But I've been brainstorming. Uh, if any of you have any ideas of what we should do for the next podcast, any people that you think that we should have on, any topics that you'd like us to cover, because obviously we're not covering any other topics or doing anything else on this podcast. Everything is going to be on the next one. So feel free to contact me, DM me, email me. Um, let me know, because I, I would be very curious to know what you guys would like to see on the next podcast. And again, just so you know, that podcast will definitely be in the works this summer, but it will not air this summer. It will, if it airs, it will air sometime later this year. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, if you're kind of on the timeline wondering, hey, you know, when, when when's the podcast? When's the new one going to come out? If you really want to know when the next podcast is going to come out, the the best way to do that would be to follow me on Instagram. You don't even really have to follow me if you don't want to. Just check into my Instagram periodically. And if there's an update about a new podcast or something of that nature, a new, you know, kind of creative pursuit on YouTube, I will post it on there. So, you know, if you don't want to follow, you don't have to. This isn't a plug or anything. Literally, just if you want to just type in my name um, on Instagram and just check out my profile periodically just to see what's up you can do that and you will be able to see any updates on the podcast and what's going on because I don't want anyone to be left in the dark you know if you were a legitimate fan of this podcast or you wanted to support this podcast and then you're just kind of like oh you know wh wh where's it going where's the next kind of a uh, place that it's going to be it's going to be on YouTube still definitely going to utilize anchor again because that was a big help um utilizing anchor to get it onto places like spotify and, and things of that nature definitely going to utilize that again and definitely going to have more in-person um episodes than not because in person is definitely better and that's basically the the basics um as far as the future of this podcast um Again, if anyone has any like pressing questions that I, I, I don't answer in this episode, feel free to comment it below and I'll make sure to answer your comment or just DM me. I'll, uh, I, either one works. Um, and if you're on such a personal level with me that you watch this and you have my number, feel free to text me. Um, any way that you want to reach out for any questions, just let me know. Because uh, if I don't answer it in this episode, obviously there's not going to be a follow-up episode. So just... Reach out to me, again, email, text, DM, comment, you know, you can reach out to me really uh, any which way, and uh, I'll get back to you on that, and so that's, yeah, I just want to kind of get that out of the way as far as what to expect in the future, why this podcast uh, is ending, this podcast is ending because it is at a perfect kind of crossroads point in my life where I have a good amount of time to reflect and brainstorm and prepare um, to get ready essentially for an even bigger and better project. So the Art of Awesomeness podcast was a project, a passion project that I, I do feel honestly pretty bittersweet about, you know? Um, and you know, I'm a sentimental person. I'm kind of get bittersweet about this stuff. So I, I, I kind of thought about a bunch of, uh, of different ways to end it and how to start this podcast, but I, I ended up kind of coming to the conclusion that's probably just best to, uh, you know, end it and start it the way we kind of always have, 
just so it doesn't feel like the like the catastrophic end of like the end of ends you know what i'm saying because yeah, you know, I'm I'm gonna be back at podcasting. I mean, literally from the time that this podcast ends to the next one begins, I'm still gonna be working on trying to make the next podcast. So I'm I'm not really stopping per se. It's just that for you guys, it's gonna seem like a big break, which it is. Um, but on my end, I'm gonna be continually working to just try and make a bigger and better podcast next time around, which in all likelihood will be. Um, it, uh, I want to say fall or winter of this year is probably the best bet unless something just goes terribly wrong and and you know I don't know I don't know something catastrophic happens unless something happens um, I would put your bets on sometime in the fall or winter of this year uh, of when the next podcast is going to start just so you kind of have a general kind of bird's eye view the situation i know it's kind of hard for you as the viewer because you're not me you don't know you know what i'm planning or you know what exactly my schedule look looks like so i'm trying to be as transparent as i can but at the same time i don't really want to mislead you and, and tell you something that's not really true and so you're expecting something that's just not going to happen so with the best of my knowledge i can tell you that it, this is the window that i'm kind of working with but i don't want to be too specific just because I don't want you to get your heart set on something and then it just not turn out that way. So I'm still keeping it pretty vague because it's pretty vague for me also. Uh, the most specific I can get with it really is just the kind of logistics of the next podcast. But even that is a bit far out for me. Still, it's probably going to take, I want to say about two and a half months until I know the specific uh, logistics of running the podcast for my new location, probably about two and a half months, something like that. I think I have it on the calendar. I think it's like 96 days until I'll kind of understand the layout, um, of my new location so that I can actually start prepping it, um, for pod podcast production. And then it'll be another few weeks until I can probably get some content filmed and edited and then it'll be uploaded. That's the most likely structure. Yeah. So I'm I'm really just using this podcast as like a brainstorming session. I'm actually thinking as I'm as I'm talking. Wait, isn't that always what you do when you talk? Sorry. I'm tired. But um yeah, that's I don't really want to beat a dead, uh, a dead horse, but I also kind of know that this is the last episode of the podcast, so I you know, I don't really want to stop talking, but I know I'm going to have to at some point. But I'm just going to take this time to say thank you to everyone who has supported us in this endeavor um, of making this podcast. You know, definitely shout out to Christian who stuck out this podcast for a very, very long time, even when it wasn't easy. And, um, you know, he, he's obviously been in the vast majority of episodes. And so props to him for even, you know, agreeing to be on this podcast to begin with, you know, when I was talking to him in the summer of 2020. And thank you to everyone who, who guested, you know, uh, everyone who came on and, and supported the podcast, not only guested, but also who just kind of supported us from the sidelines who would, you know, post on Instagram whenever a new episode came out or would, you know, subscribe and like our content, you know, Tucker comes to mind, Sophie comes to mind, uh, obviously Christian, and just so you know, my family, my dad, I know he, he watches every episode. And so I just want to kind of thank these people for, you know, their kind of constant support and, uh, yeah, just constant support of making this podcast and, uh, just really helping us all the way. And so, yeah, definitely reach out to us when it comes time to make the next podcast. Cause we'd love to have you on. I know that, I know that Sophie, was one person that we were like, guys, we got to get Sophie on this podcast someday. Like it was a thing uh, earlier on in the series when she became our publicist. Um, but I think that probably when we start the new podcast, she should be available to, to do in-person recording. It would be awesome if we got Sophie an in-person because I think we were waiting for her to be in-person 
and then the only option really was uh turned out to be uh virtual for the time being and so we were kind of like oh we don't want to do it virtual if we get sophie on it's got to be in person right but it just wasn't uh feasible really for us at the time um and so i think that whenever we do get sophie it's definitely going to be on uh, this next podcast but i do want to ask i do i do have a question for any of you viewers out there I have a few names that I'm not going to say yet, but I do have a few names in mind for the next podcast. If any of you have any ideas for names for the next podcast, themes, um, topics, that kind of a thing, definitely let me know. Reach out to me directly because I'd be very curious to know what you think the next podcast should be called. Uh, when I made this podcast and I called it the art of awesomeness, I, w- I was kind of basing it off of stuff like the art of war. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of like the art of manliness podcast or anything like that. They, they have a YouTube channel, I think called the art of manliness. Um, the art of war, you know, was probably the primary one, but then, you know, I, I figured the art of awesomeness just sounded boss. So I just kind of went with that one, but that's the name we've been running with. You know, obviously we have our classic kind of, you know, it's just like a Japanese sound on YouTube. It's like a meme Japanese sound is our intro. And then obviously we have uh, Shika no Uta, which is an outro of a a show I like, um, as our outro music. And so we've been rolling with those kind of themes and stuff. And I'm considering keeping the whole intro, definitely the outro theme I think I want to keep. But intro I'm thinking about maybe keeping, but if you have any ideas as far as like, you know, intros, outros, co- even just like uh, color themes or backgrounds, you know, how to film it, you know, just anything that you can think of, you know, should we split screen it like we did at the beginning? Should we cut back and forth between speakers? Should we just have everyone in one shot? Um just anything, you know, any kind of logistical aspect that you can think of that you think, oh, yeah, no, that'd be a good idea. Send it my way because, you know, I'd rather have more ideas than few when it comes to this stuff. So obviously, it's a few months away. I've got time to think about it. But just the more information that I can have is probably be beneficial. And um, yeah, with that, thank you, everyone for watching or listening to this episode of the Art of Awesomeness pod- podcast, the final episode of the Art of Awesomeness, um, which is kind of crazy after all this time, episode 88. And uh, the reason I didn't go to 100, like I was thinking, just so you guys know, was that if I went into episode 100, it would have bled into my time um, at my new location. And so... I figured it would have been hard to remain consistent making the content uh, during the transitional period of moving locations and starting at a new school and all that stuff. So that's why I didn't reach the episode to episode 100 to uh, cap it out. And I decided just to cap it out at a good round 88 um, season finale. So that's why I kind of intertwine the season finale with the... uh, series finale of the art of awesomeness just because it kind of logistically on my end uh made quite a bit of sense um but yeah thank you guys for watching the final episode of the art of awesomeness podcast thank you for sticking with us um over the course of making this it definitely means a lot to me i know it, it meant a lot of christian and so Yeah, I hope that all of you who are listening now and who have supported us in this podcast will continue to support uh, into the next podcast, into our other uh, YouTube kind of creative content um, endeavors. I hope that you guys will be a part of uh, that next endeavor, just as you were uh, a big part of this one. And uh, at the end of the day, we really couldn't have done uh, any of the things that we did and really couldn't have motivated ourselves, I think, the way that we did um, without you guys you know, watching the videos and, um, you know, listening into the podcast and giving us feedback, you know, that really means the world to us. So I just want to say thank you to all you guys. Thank you to everyone uh, who's listening. Um, appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, I really, I don't know how many times I can say thank you in an episode, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to get too sappy about this because, you know, why, do, why would I want that on the internet? Right. But 
Um, yeah. Until until the beginning of the new podcast, until the next beginning, this is the end of the Art of Awesomeness podcast. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, take care.